All right, good catch. <laughs> nice one, Uncle Grant. Hey, nice throw, Jess. Time out. <laughs> Feeling old? Yeah. Just give me a sec. It's the most incredible place I've ever been. Thanks for bringing me, Uncle Grant. Well, you don't think I'd pass up a chance to go camping with my favorite niece, do you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for one more long one, then it's back to camp. Watch this one. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Grant, come here quick! Over here, Uncle Grant! Didn't happen too long ago. That looks like oil. She didn't die from the oil, did she? I mean, there's none in her coat. You see where the down feathers kind of zip together there? That's to protect her from the frigid water. One drop of that oil is all it takes to break the seal. Cold water got in probably froze to death trying to get ashore. It's awful. We're gonna have to bury her, Jess. We don't want any scavengers getting contaminated from that oil. Okay. yourself. We can use some more firewood. Okay, I'll go get it. Those eggs look recently hatched. Well, where are the ducklings? Their mother would have taken them out on the water right after the hatching. But even if they were lucky enough to escape getting caught in the oil, they wouldn't have survived very long without their mother's care. Are you sure none of them made it to shore? Well, they would have tried, but I doubt it. Are you sure? No, I can't be sure. Well, let's try to find them. Jess, that would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I really think we should try. Okay. <laughs> Maybe over there. I think we already tried. Shh. 
ring-neck pheasant. Beautiful, isn't he? He sure is. Well, we've given it our best shot. We have to go. It's almost 11. Oh, just a little longer, please, Uncle Grant. Okay. But I'll have to radio home. I'll be back in a few minutes. Jess, if the ducklings are anywhere, they'll be somewhere in this grass. So don't go anywhere near the water. There's strong currents out there, okay? Okay. Good luck. JL, you missed your calling. That is fantastic. How bad is it? Oh. You know, when we first moved to Danger Bay, I think it was about my eighth birthday party, someone organized a scavenger hunt. On the list, the hair from one of Dad's eyebrows. No! <laughs> it was running around the house with a dozen crazed little girls chasing after him. <laughs> the hair eventually grew back. Nicole. Jail. Speak of the devil. Anybody? Hi, we're reading you, Groucho. <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, we'll tell you later. Where are you guys? We're out here on the great orphan duckling hunt. So the birthday girl's gonna be a little late. Over and out.
on, Jess. Breathe. Please. Oh, please. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the power vessel. Charlie Zulu, six, three, five, seven. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Mayday Whaler, this is Sea Island Base. What is your location and what is the nature of your distress? Go ahead. Sea Island! We are 70 kilometers due north of Sea Shell! Child! Drowning! No heartbeat! Affirmative Whaler, keep this channel open. Duty crew, report to 086. We have a possible drowning involving hypothermia. I think Jess is going to be thrilled. <laughs> Let's go look at the living room one more time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is great. This birthday is going to be unforgettable. She's going to love it. No heartbeat. What's your name? Jess. Jess, I'm Jane Novak. I'm a Coast Guard medic, and you are going to be just fine. Did you notice any bruises or other signs of injury when you got her out? No. Jess, honey, we're going to cut off your clothes, then we're going to put you on the stretcher and wrap you up in a nice warm blanket. Body core temperature's dropping off drastically, Jane. I'll apply the hot pipes. Good. You need some attention yourself. Perry, get him some dry clothes. I'm fine, really. No, you're not. You're cold stressed. Come on, sir. Let's get you dry. Oh, I need to go home. Sure, after you put on some warm clothes. You're going to get through this, Jess. You're going to be just fine. Jess, honey, you're going to get warm now. You're going to feel all tingly at first, and then nice and warm, just like you were in your own bed. How's her temperature? 24.5 and dropping. Jail, Nicole, please, come in. We're here, Grant. Uh, what's wrong? It's Jess. She was under very cold water for over half an hour. She's not breathing, and there's no pulse. A half an hour? Grant? Because the water was very cold, there's a good chance they may bring her back. The Coast Guard's working on her now. They're doing everything possible. Uh, I'll, I'll call David and Ellen in Turkey. I'll meet you at the hospital. Tell them hypothermia. They'll explain. I gotta go. Oh, my God. Hi, it's Sir Emily. Where's the birthday girl? What's going on? We'll explain in the car. Come on. Jail. Come on. Any change? Not yet. We're about to move her on board. Okay. Let's go. We're taking you for a ride, Jess. 
in a hovercraft is quite an experience. Very fast and very noisy. When you get better. Rewarming. Derek, this child needs to be rewarmed quickly. Fire up the heat treat. Right. I worked with John Hayward on his hibernation research. How long do you think she's been without a heartbeat? Over an hour. An hour. Thank you, Rescue Center. We'll be ready for her. Jess is on board, and we're putting a call through the hovercraft now. Doctor, how is she? Is she breathing on her own? Not yet. Dad said something about no pulse. Uh, we don't have all the facts. Doctor, I can only tell you what might be happening to Jess. It may be true that her heart still isn't beating, but no one is dead until they're warm and dead. At this moment, Jess is very cold, in a hypothermic state. Because she's a child, her body core temperature would have cooled very quickly in that cold water. And that's good, because at low temperatures, her brain and her heart don't need a lot of oxygen to survive. So it's possible that Jess can live without breathing, even without a heartbeat, for quite a long time. Listen, we've had incidents of cold water near drowning where kids have been brought back after being under frigid water for over an hour. Do you know if the water Jess fell into was cold enough? Let's hope so. Coming in from Vancouver General. I'll patch you through. Hovercraft, this is Dr. Samuel Roth. Who am I talking to? Jay Novak here, doctor, with uh, Derek Borland and Grant Roberts assisting. Well, thank you all for having me aboard. Let's get that warm air next to her heart and set the oxygen steam mix to 42 degrees. This is Dr. Roth. Please get the hypothermia crash cart ready. Dr. Caruso, please pick up line one. Do you think we should meet Dad and Jess at Sea Island? I don't think so. Dad'll come in the ambulance. Okay. I just wish the embassy would call. We need to get through to your aunt and uncle. Temperature's 27.8. Flatline, no activity at all. Let's go. The monitor. Stand clear. 
She's converted. She's still not breathing on her own. Yes, David and Ellen Roberts to call their brother in Canada as soon as possible. 604-555-9595. Yes, I know. Please do your best to find them as soon as possible. Thank you. Coffee, Dad? No, thanks, Nicole. Take it. They're not giving up, you know. Children have been underwater for longer than half an hour, and they've come out of it okay. They're using the... Uh... Of course they're not giving up. Jane. Uh, Jane was the medic on the hovercraft jail. Thank you so much for coming. How is she? No change. Where on earth did you find that? Oh, we took a run back up the coast to your campsite and brought everything back to Sea Island. We found this sitting on the shore and it wasn't the sort of thing you'd leave on a boat. No. Yes. Oh. Oh. Uh, could you please get me a glass of water? It's boiling in here. Okay. Hello. Yes, Ellen. No, she's fine. We had a real scare, but everything's okay now. I'll explain it all uh, to you later. What happened to me? I don't remember a thing. Jess. This is for you. Mom, hi! Yeah, thanks. She's saying happy birthday, but she won't tell me what's in the package they're sending. Mom, I'm not four. Sure. Jesus. There's someone else who wants to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Yes. <laughs> 